Hey, what's up guys? It's Rob, and welcome to my tutorial for the epic 2-in-1 paper cup boomerang and helicopter. Most people use their cups to have a drink and throw it away. So I thought, is there some way that we can get this cup so that when you threw it away, it actually came back? Well, after a few cuts and folds, the paper cup becomes a fun 2-in-1 model that not only spins down like a helicopter, but becomes an amazing boomerang that comes back to you. It even has a ninja star on the back that I thought would look really cool when I designed it. And of course, it's a a great boomerang for doing trick shots. It not only works with a variety of paper cups, but you can also throw it with your left and right hand, so try throwing two at the same time. So get ready to learn the all new paper cup boomerang and helicopter. I'd like to take a moment to thank my new patrons, Jimena and Adam. It was fun teaching you on Zoom. I showed them the boomerang on my Discord server and they definitely wanted to learn it. If you want your chance to get a shout out, have your idea featured, access to my Discord server, or get one-on-one -on -one help and more, head over to my Patreon and support me. For a limited time, I'm offering all new patrons a 30 minute zoom lesson. You're going to need a paper cup and some scissors. While it can work without tape, some cups can be thicker or have outside layers like these making it harder to fold and it might require some tape just to hold the flaps down. Plastic cups won't work for the boomerang but can work for the helicopter but not as well as paper. Pure styrofoam won't work, but these paper coffee cups with paper inside and soft foam exterior will work, but might need tape because they don't fold as well as regular paper. Once you have the proper supplies, let's do it. We need to first take the cup and cut it into eight equal sections like this. To start, we're going to hold it on two opposite sides and pull apart and flatten it as best we can and make two really sharp pinches on the outside. We're only folding the top of the rim, not the entire cup. We can take the scissors and cut the cup directly up from the pinch in the rim all the way to the base as straight as we can. Then we could do the same on the opposite side, cutting it all the way from the rim to the base. Now we could take the two edges of each half and meet them together and make a pinch directly in the middle of the rim just like this. Turn it around and do the same on the other side, meeting the two cut corners or edges of the rim, holding them together, rounding it and giving it a pinch. Now, once again, we can cut it directly on that pinch from the rim all the way to the base on both sides. If it helps, you can make a mark on the rim and draw a line to help you make nice straight cuts. Or sometimes the cup has patterns you can use to guide you as well. To ensure you're cutting all the way to the bottom of the inside, you could take the scissors and place them on the inside of the cup to see it going all the way down to the base, just like this. Now we can cut the quarter sections into eighths by once again folding the rim in half like this and making a pinch. Do that for all four pieces, trying to ensure that they are folded exactly in half. Once you've made a pinch on all four of the sections, hold them and, just like before, cut them in half trying to divide them evenly down the middle of the section so all eight pieces are about the same width. Take your time and try to cut as straight and vertically as you can. When you're finished, it should look like this, and just make sure you cut all the way to the base on the inside of the cup. Now we're going to look for the section that has the joint or lip in it and fold that down first. We're going to fold it down so that it is flush completely with the base. It should fold down easily and you shouldn't hear any rips if you did cut all the way to the bottom of the cup. Then, we're going to skip every other section and fold them down so that it's flat with the base. Continue until you have folded down four cup sections and it should look just like this. Now we could set it down on the table and flatten the four sections which we just folded down. I'm just going to make an X on the sections we folded down with a marker. And once we've done that, at this point, this is the helicopter configuration, and if you flip it over and spin it, it'll float down as a helicopter, which I'll show a bit later. At this point, we're going to fold down all of the sections here. The sections we mark with the X are going to be the boomerang blades, while the others are going to be interlocked like a ninja star to create a flap or airfoil on each blade. Just like we did with the other sections, fold down the last four sections and flatten them out so they are even with the base. If you're having difficulty doing this, make sure you cut far enough. Set it down on the table and make sure everything's nice and flat. Before you try to make the boomerang, inspect it to make sure the blades are relatively equal flat and neat, not like this. If it does, you may want to toss it and try it again. Now we can mark the other sections 1 to 4 in a clockwise direction. 
Then we can cut off the very tip of the rim on only those numbered sections. Then we're going to take the two opposite sections, in this case 1 and 3, and fold them inwards with the bottom section folded up on the left and the top section folded down on the right. The inside edges should not be overlapped but touching. Then we could turn it and do the same with sections 2 and 4, folding them inwards the same exact way. Once we folded them in, we could press down firmly. This is the same way that they will be arranged when they are interlocked. Now we can open the numbered sections we just folded inwards. We're going to now interlock them in a clockwise direction, starting with 1 and then moving to 2, 3, and so forth. We're going to first fold down 1 so that the left side of it is on the edge of the cup base. Then we're going to fold 2 on top of it, and then 3 down on top of 2. Now, the last one, 4, is going to go on top of 3 and underneath 1. So we're going to slide 1 out from underneath 2, just like this, and create a little pocket or an opening, like a little bridge. Then we could round 4 off and curve it a little bit at the end, and push it through the opening underneath one. Once it's tucked under, you can grab it on the other side and pull it all the way through. To make sure the sections are interlocked snugly, we're just going to pull or tug on the two opposite sections to ensure that they're tucked in all the way and secure, and just press down. When we've done that, it should look something just like this. Now you'll see when we interlock the sections on the back, it created an overhang here on the other side of the boomerang blades. You should notice that the flaps will be counterclockwise or on the left side of the blade when they're facing directly upwards. These will create an airfoil flap which we need to fold down along the edge of the boomerang blade. So fold down all the way so that it's flush with the top of the blade and make a nice sharp crease. And we will do that now for the remaining three airfoil flaps. Fold down along the top of the blade and crease sharply. Finally, complete the last one by folding it down and creasing, and it should look something like this. If you find that the airfoils pop out or stick up, you can try taping them down at the very center here. Just wrap the lower third with tape to keep it flat and secure. throw the helicopter, just make sure that the four propellers are bent upwards like this and the other ones are facing down and haven't been folded yet. Then all you need to do is just throw it from a height and give it a spin. Spin it. So to throw the boomerang, I'm going to take it like this, and you can take it in your right hand like this, and hold it with your two fingers on top and your, your thumb right on the airfoil here, just like that, and kind of rest it on the rest of your fingers. And I'm just going to flick my wrist out, it's going to snap my wrist like that. So take it and just snap your wrist out like that. You can also take it in your hand in one of the arms and flick it this way. And you can use your left hand even and just do the same kind of thing. And it basically works with all these different cups. Oh! I hope you guys liked the video for the paper cup boomerang and the helicopter. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and smash that like button down below. And also don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell if you haven't already. Since I'm new to Patreon and I'd like to connect with more fans since I've had a lot of fun doing the private Zoom lessons, I'm gonna make it for the next two months, no matter what tier you join, I will give you a Zoom lesson, a 30 minute lesson on whatever you'd like. So be sure to check out my Patreon and support me. Also, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you'd like to see next. More boomerangs, Rubik's Cubes, or if you want to see this cool duct tape hat that I made. Let me know, and I will see you guys soon.